finish it okay. if you like to. Okay. So, okay, here we come. Good off. Good off. We can go and sit in the sofa. Okay. You can go over there. All right. In that side. Yeah. And I'll sit down here. Oh, you got questions written. <laughs> hey, look at here. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Idag sitter vi här med en utflyttad Lars Mobo, nämligen Stanley Sandvik som bor i USA. First, I would like to welcome you to Lars Mo. Tack. Yes. Tack. And is this your first first visit here? To, first visit to, to this country. To Finland and Lars. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how about Europe? Um long time ago, but n not in these countries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are your impressions about Lasma so far? Oh, uh, well, uh, you know, on Sunday, we had a uh, wonderful time. Uh, all the cousins uh, started with, we went to the Larsmo church. Yeah. And before church started, there was a gathering out front, and they were all pointing, uh, taking, putting their hands out to say, welcome Stanley to our country and to our church. And it started with that. And then 78 of us went to lunch later and we all visited. And uh, it was a wonderful time. And what I was going to say is that I had a speech made that I was going to say, but as soon as I started to sprok, <laughs> uh, then I started to cry. So this is wonderful. Yeah. This is a wonderful place and a wonderful time and it helps me complete a circle in my life. Ja. Uh, Stanley berättade här att i söndags hade de en, en släktträff och det började vid Larsmo kyrka och där samlades då släkten utanför kyrkan och hälsade honom välkommen och det var allihop där och, och sen åkte de för att äta och det var 78 stycken av släktingarna var på plats och de hade en härlig lunch och eh, han hade förberett ett tal men det blev ingenting av talet för att det började stocka sig så i halsen då han skulle läsa det. Så att, men han tycker det är ett härligt ställe och det är första gången han har varit hit till Larsmo och eh, till Finland. How do you like this place. Your grandparents are born here in this in this very part place. of the building too. This very place, yes. If you if you look around, uh, my dad was probably uh, b born right here in this place. Yeah. And uh, in my lifetime, I didn't think I would ever see that, but here I am. Yeah. On the very uh, in the very building and and at this. Uh, uh, great place yeah. and uh, so it's a wonderful thing for mm. for me in my life to mm. be here yeah yeah what do you think that is uh, it's uh, nowadays a, a museum yes is wonderful. it okay oh wonderful yes mm. for people to come and see how it was many years ago and times were hard and people were uh, had to make decisions in their lives that Maybe they didn't want to. Uh, as an example, uh, my father, who was born here with his brothers and sisters, uh, his mother died when he was six. His father died when he was 12. He had a couple uh, pretty tough years. And fortunately, one of his sisters, Jenny, an older sister, had married a man from um, uh, Carlaby, and they had uh, settled in United States. He had worked in Duluth, Minnesota, in the mines, and he w saved some money to get the boys to come to America. And their uh, and his wife, uh, my dad's older sister, uh, brought them in and got them started in America. Hmm. So it was a wonderful thing. Stanley berättar här då också att han tycker att det är ett väldigt fint ställe det här Bjergas och att det är bra att det finns 
som museum nu så att folk får komma hit och titta hur det var för för det var inte alla gånger så lätt tidigare att växa upp. Uh, hans uh, pappa växte upp här just i det här rummet och, och uh, båda föräldrarna dog ganska snabbt så han hamnade och sköta han har hand om uh, syskonen själv här och som tur var det var en av de äldre syskonen redan gift i USA och kunde hjälpa till med lite små bidrag så att de klarade sig och sen så småningom fick de komma över till USA de här barnen också. By the way, yeah, uh, uh, your, your father, what, uh, what is his name? Uh, Emil Edvin Sandvik. Yeah. And uh, before we maybe do more questions, mm -hmm. I wanted to get something out, yeah. is that uh, uh, when I go back from this place and go back to my country, uh, I will be a better person. Yeah. And uh, I will be a better person because uh, I'm reminded How, it, how, how, how important family is. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of us have good friends. Mm -hmm. And good friends are valuable. Yeah. Uh, but when you move a little or this or that happens in your life, you get new friends. Yeah. And then you work to learn new friends. And that's all very good. But now what I've learned is that... Uh, uh, Family is forever, and uh, family is always family, no matter what country you're in. And uh, I'm going to go back to my country, and maybe, maybe I, I won't work so hard for my friends as much as I'll work harder to be a better family person. And... That's what I've learned here. Mm. My family here, who I haven't known, have been wonderful. Mm. Stanley berättar här också hur viktig familjen är och hur viktig familjebanden är. Att det är ingen skillnad var man bor i, i världen så familjen det är den viktigaste som finns. Och var en familjen finns så det, det ställer det är viktigt. Och det, det vill jag lyfta fram här att det mycket speciellt. Och han har lärt sig mycket av familjen här också. Han är väldigt glad och tycker han ska själv jobba på att bli en ännu bättre familjemedlem där hemma också när han kommer hem till USA. Uh, I understand you are, you, you are not born here in Finland. You are born in USA. That's where, correct. Where in USA? Uh, that would be in Washington State. Uh, in the north corner of Washington State. The bigger city would be Seattle, Washington, and maybe a two-hour drive north of Seattle at a place called Anacortes, Washington. Okay. Although uh, my work took me around that whole coast, two or three states there, I, I, I am from Anacortes, Washington. State. <laughs> Not D.C. <laughs> Stanley, I am from... Washington State, inte DC, som man påpekar här. And the place was Anna. Anna Cordes. Anna Cordes. Yes. And uh, what did you do? No, you are now retired. Yes, been retired yeah. for uh, quite some years. Yeah. So. What did you do before that? Um, I don't know what you would call it in this country, but uh, it would in our country it was uh, wood products manufacturing. Yeah which you have here in this country. Uh, my, uh, my uh, specialty, if you will, was, uh, was uh, production management in uh, lumber, plywood, uh, particle board, and uh, very little in pulp and paper, although I was pleased to see the very large pulp plant here in Jakobstad. Yeah. That's a very big, nice place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stanley har då under sin tid jobbat som med, med virke och virkeshandel. Inte så mycket med papper och sånt, men han var väldigt glad över att få se vår, vår stora fabrik här som, i Jakobstad som vi nu inte alla gånger tycker så mycket om. Den. Men för honom var det trevligt att se den här fabriken då han har varit inom samma bransch. How did you get to know about your relatives here in Finland? 
for example, Kari now who's oh, been in contact well, with you. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, uh, a story. Maybe I'm not s so proud of this part. Huh? For whatever reason, I I can't tell you is that when uh, my dad was alive, mm -hmm. we did not talk about uh, this very place hardly at all. And now maybe that was because it was a uh, a memory, or maybe he was too young, or maybe I didn't ask the right questions. Mm -hmm. In any event, uh, to get to your question, is that uh, I knew very little about my, any relatives that remained here, cousins or whatever. Yeah. And uh, so I found a picture, uh, which I've donated to the museum mm -hmm. here, that showed uh, it was in a trunk. And when I was thinking about coming to this country, I was going through things. Mm -hmm. And I found a picture, and on the back, the back listed uh, all of my dad's family, and the uh, I knew the ones that came to America. Yeah. They they were my uncles and aunts, of yeah. course, but the ones that remained in this country, I had uh, somewhat lost track of. Yeah. And uh, so then I uh, had some contact, and I I found uh, cousins here in in uh, uh, Gerby uh, down by Vasa and also uh, here in Essay. Yeah. And immediately I had a wonderful response. Mm -hmm. Overnight email from both those cousins and they've been wonderful to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. All their family have been wonderful yeah. to us. And uh, it's like, uh, well, we, 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 uh, we are very fond of each other mm -hmm. and it's just been days that we've been together. Mm -hmm. It's it's family versus friends. Yeah. Yeah. Stan berättade här att först så hade han inte så mycket kunskap om den här varifrån släkten var. Kanske beroende på att han själv var för ung eller på grund av att hans pappa inte heller ville då prata om det här. Men han hittade ett fotografi i en väska. Och på baksidan av fotografiet fanns det då listat släktingarna. Och den, på den vägen så hittade han då släktingar både i SCO. och i, utanför Gerby, utanför Vasa. How long are you going to stay here in Finland? Uh, unfortunately, our time is getting short already. And oh. uh, it's because we, uh, we drove uh, yeah. quite a bit of our time yeah. to see the country across yeah. Norway and up the Sweden coast yeah. and then to Umeå yes. and uh, ferry to Vasa yeah. and come up here. Uh, one and a half day, well, on Thursday, yeah. we leave. And we go, this time, we go drive to Helsinki, yeah. take the ferry to Stockholm, and then back across Norway to Bergen, and then we fly home. Okay. So we're, we're trying to slow and see the country and uh, take in as much as we can, but unfortunately, uh, it would have been better to spend more time. Yeah. Yeah. Han, de kommer att vara här ända fram till torsdag, men tyvärr så är ju tiden kort tycker han. Och de har tillbringat mycket av tiden i en bil för de har kört från Bergen genom Norge och, och via Sverige och hit. Och nu ska de åka på samma sätt tillbaka till Bergen och sen flyga hem. Och han tycker att tiden är lite onödigt kort. Så, so, if you go on Thursday, you don't have too much planned for the rest of these two days? Or oh, they're full. They're full. <laughs> they're full. Yeah, yeah. It's it's hard today. I just uh, uh, see. I have here. Uh, I found in the, my uh, trunk also yeah. a book yeah. that my mother uh, and dad, when they visited in 1949, yeah. he came back and visited, and this is 58 years ago here, yeah. and every day is written down, and we've been retracing some of those steps and we have visited people and descendants of of uh, the people they visited and it's it's been wonderful and so much fun to see here when they were young they came and enjoyed themselves mm. and now we have come and we visited just yeah. before i came here i visited a friend of my parents 
where they stayed for a few days. And I heard stories that about the fun they had when they were here. And it was wonderful to hear that, that, that uh, a live person here in this country uh, still, still can remember my parents being here and the fun they had. So it's, it's wonderful. I, I've really enjoyed retracing their steps. Här är en liten bok som, som han har också hittat där fotografiet var. Och det är från då hans föräldrar var här 1949. Och nu försöker Stanley och hans fru då också gå igenom lite samma personer som deras föräldrar då var besökte här. Och jag träffade dem och lite släktingar till dem och han tycker det är jättetrevligt. Do you think you are coming back here again? Uh, I would like to come back here mm. again. I, I don't know uh, whether it will happen, mm. but uh, everybody in America uh, that I know uh, that have come say, you'll be back. Mm. You, you, will, you will have to come back. And I believe that they may be right. I, I think uh, once is not enough. Well, yeah. you're very welcome to come back again. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I don't know, I didn't say who I am, but I have here a list too. Ah. Here, you see, here is your father. Yes. And here am I. Oh. And my father was there on Sunday, Lars Lilkvist. Well, well, yes. So... I don't know how close we are, but this way it goes. So we too are relatives. Well, in Michael, a way. Michael, very good. It's <laughs> this world's full of surprises. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry I couldn't come on Sunday, that's, but it's okay. I I wanna. I know time's probably running out here, yeah. but I wanted to show you one thing more yes. uh, in the book, uh, if I can find it quickly here, and. Uh, Let's see here. One 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 lady was here Sunday also. Yeah. And uh, she is uh, uh, let's see. She would be like sixty four or five today. Yes. I showed her this book, and my mother had asked, "What is your name?" Yes. At six years old, Arla. Nyland wrote her name for my mother, <laughs> and Arla was there on Sunday, and I was able to give her a hug, yeah. and it was really special. Yeah, I can understand and that. here she was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now a full-grown lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I thank you for this, and leave you to, to go to your business. You have a lot to do okay. yet, so... Thank you very much for Michael, your time. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you all. Jo, jag frågade ju här också hur det är om de tänker komma tillbaka och han berättade att de flesta som då är i USA, om de har varit hit någon gång så säger de alla att man kommer tillbaka till Finland och han vill gärna också komma tillbaka men han kan ju inte lova någonting om hur det blir för att det är svårt att se med framtiden men han hoppas att han kan komma tillbaka en gång till, till Finland och det ska vi också hoppa. And you got to see the poodles. Uh, my husband uh, <laughs> got a scholarship from uh, his university in uh, Obo. Yeah. And uh, he was studying for a year in Duluth, Minnesota. Yes. So they have been in touch by Lepis. Did you? Yeah, he probably wants to go home and eat. He's still food. Yeah.